Hello, dear students. Welcome to Mass Spectrometry Lecture Session 3. In this lecture session, I am going to explain you about different types of mass analyzer and detectors used in mass spectrometry. Now, let us explore about mass analyzer. It is one of the important component of mass instrument. In mass instrument, three processes are taking place. In ionization chamber, the parent compound is converted into molecular ion and daughter ion. Then it will travel to the mass analyzer where different ion travels to the detector based on its mass by charge ratio. So in this diagram, you can see that there is a ionization chamber where ions are formed then those ions will travel and reach to the detector so the distance between this ionization chamber to the detector is nothing it is a part known as a mass analyzer the role of the mass analyzer is to separate different ions based on their mass by charge so as the ions travel, some ions are too heavy, so it will bend too little. Some ions are too light, it will bend too much. And some ions have a specific velocity that will take a circular path and reach the detector. In the instrument, what we do is we just change the magnetic field as well as the voltage of the instrument. Uh, so that all ions are continuously collected and we get the spectra in the mass. So this analyzer part is very much important and in mass spectrometer we use different type of analyzer. For example, in this uh, diagram the, uh, there is a magnetic type of analyzer is there shown. So likewise we have a different other types of analyzer and all analyzer they have a different principle of operations. So the common types of analyzer used in mass spectrometer are time of flight mass analyzer which is denoted by the TOF, then quadrupole type of mass analyzer, then magnetic sector type of mass analyzer again it is of two types single focusing magnetic sector and the double focusing magnetic sector then we have a ion trap of mass analyzer then hybrid systems are also there in tandem type of mass spectrometer like magnetic sector and uh, ion trap quadrupole and time of flight then there are there is also a mass analyzer by name ion cyclotron resonance type of mass analyzer with in combination with Fourier transform principle. So these are, these are the six common types of mass analyzer. I am going to explain you about these first three types of mass analyzer. Now let us start with our first analyzer that is a time of flight which is also abbreviated as a TOF when the instrument consists of time of flight analyzer that system is known as a time of flight mass spectrometry. In this type of instrument, there is a long tube which operates in a magnetic field free regions. There is no any magnetic field employed in this system. There is, there is, it is simple tube where the ions are allowed to pass and different ions have different velocities based on its mass by charge ratio. The lighter particles has a shorter time of flight as compared to a heavier particle. So the lighter particle will separate first, then heavier particle will enter into the detector. So this is the principle of time of flight instrument. However, if we allow all the ions to pass continuously in the time of flight system, we cannot measure the ions. So to get a better resolution, what we do in the instrument is we will install a control grid system. 
the role of this control grid is they will produce the ions in pulses which will last only for 0.25 microsecond at a frequency of 10,000 10, amps per second. So what we have to do is we have to operate the instrument in such a manner that accelerating grid and collector device should be pulsed in sequence so that all ions are collected. So this is the time of flight system just you have to remember it is a magnetic field free type of drip tube is there ions are passed based on their mass by charge ratio lighter ions have a shorter time of flight as compared to the heavier ions and to collect the ions simultaneously in the instrument there is a control grid system time of flight can be calculated with a mathematical equation that is time of flight t equal to k into root under m upon e where k is a proportionality constant it depends on length of a flight path generally grid tube is 1 meter in length to enhance the resolution in mass spectrometry there is the installation of a electrostatic mirror or the reflectron so this electrostatic mirror or the reflectron has a increasing repelling potential so it from 0 volt to plus 1 to volt there is an increase in a potential so when we have a ions those red dot ions have a faster velocity as compared to the blue ions so this red ions positive ions has a higher velocity it will penetrate further into the electrostatic mirror the low velocity ions blue ions it can penetrate up to this mark and ultimately all ions are collected in the detector so to enhance the resolution in time of flight mass analyzer we also have a electrostatic mirror mirror or the reflectron So in quadrupole type of mass spectrometer or quadrupole type mass analyzer, we have a four accurately aligned metal rods are there. These cylindrical metal rods are also known as a mass filter. So these are symmetrically on the long axis. It has been placed. Opposite pairs are coupled with each other and then we pass a direct current of few hundred volt across the copper rod superimposed by the radio frequency potential in operation we pass a positive ions in this uh, core mass filter to cylindrical filter then what we are doing is we are scanning the direct current and radio frequency starting from the zero to the maximum for the particular value of direct current by radio frequency ratio, certain ions will have a hyperbolic type of motion. Here you can see that the ions are passing. This red line, it has a hyperbolic type of motion and it is collected in the detector. Other ion which has not hyperbolic ratio, this is by the blue lines, it will discharge in this core filter. So only those ions having a hyperbolic ratio will be collected in the detector. So what we are doing is we are changing a direct current and radio frequency ratio from 0 to maximum. And for particular value certain ions have a hyperbolic motion and certain ions will discharge. So that we when we increase this ratio ultimately all ions are collected in this detector so this is the basic principle of separation in the quadrupole type of mass analyzer so the ions with a hyperbolic ratio can be achieved by particular dc upon radio frequency ratio and this instrument is a cheaper and it can be used in hyphenated system like gas chromatography mass spectrometry and generally preferred for the analysis of compound which has a molecular weight lesser than 500 and 
the particular uses in different fields are pharmaceuticals respiratory gases atmospheric gases in tanks spacecraft hazardous substances etc now our third type of analyzer is a magnetic sector type of analyzer in this case we have a two type of analyzer that is a single focusing magnetic sector and the double focusing magnetic sector so first of all i will explain you single focusing magnetic sector unit in this figure you can see that here is a ionization of the sample so the number one that is a, we will inject the sample number two heater to vaporize the sample so we are vaporizing the sample into gases phase number fourth is an electron source electron gun it will bombard the compound and it will ionize the sample the electron beam ionizes the sample once the sample is formed this accelerating negative accelerating plate it will attract those ions and it will thrown to the magnetic sector unit so the basic principle is that whenever the positive charge ions travel in the magnetic sector unit it will have a circular motion so there is a effect of magnet on the ions so there is a centrifugal force and centripetal force is there on the ions so those ions produces a circular path and the beam so lightest ion will deflect too much heaviest ion will deflect less and appropriate ions will reach the detectors just by changing the magnetic field and the voltage of the system all ions are continuously collected in the detector so the principle of mass spectrometer based on magnetic analyzer equation is derived through this system only so the equation of separation of charge in mass spectrometry can be given by mass by charge m by e equal to h square r square upon 2v h is a magnetic field and v is a voltage so mass by charge of ions only depends on the radius because charge your magnetic field and voltage are fixed mass and radius they are the changing parameters those mass which are too too heavy it will bend too less too light it will bend too away and appropriate ions it will reach the detector so through this equation we can have a basic principal idea of the instrument and just scanning the voltage or magnetic field we can collect all the ions in the mass instrument in double focusing magnetic sector unit it is just a modification of a single focusing instrument in single focusing instrument the basic principle we say that all ions having same mass by charge possesses the same kinetic energy or the velocity but however this is not quite correct because ions vary in initial energy so that is the reason electron beam has a variable energy that we call as a boltzmann kinetic energy distribution so to get a better focusing of the all ions we install a electrostatic analyzer in the double focusing instrument magnet is there beside the magnet in between the ion source and the magnetic analyzer we are placing a electrostatic analyzer so the role of this electrostatic analyzer is it will select only those ions which has a similar velocity and that can go into the magnetic analyzer so it will enhance the resolution of the instrument so here another figure you can see same type of instrument is there just you have to see here the ion once produced it pass to the electrostatic analyzer then it will go to the magnetic analyzer then it is detected and recorded so just electrostatic analyzer is to select the ions that has a similar velocity and that ions are only allowed to enter the magnetic 
analyzer it in terms enhance the resolution of the instrument detectors are important component of mass instrument because it provides you the percentage relative abundance of each ions for that reason generally we use two type of detectors that is a faraday top and electron multiplier detector the first detector is a faraday cup as shown in the diagram it is a simple cup like shape structure is there with a small orifice the positive ions it passes from from here and it will be captured so how it measures is when those ions hit the surface it is neutralized once it is neutralized by accepting or donating the electrons it produces the electric current that electric current is detected and the detection of current in terms provide you the percentage relative abundance of the ions so why this instrument has a cup shape the advantage is that the cup shape structure pro avoid the loss of the electrons so it is a least expensive detectors and it has a long response time the most important disadvantage of this faraday cup detector is when the ions strike this metal plate it will produce the secondary ions these secondary ions in terms interfere in the measurement to avoid this in this system what we do is there is a carbon coating inside the faraday cup this carbon coating will reduce the secondary ions and increase the resolution and sometime to in increase the resolution we also simultaneously use two faraday cups the second most wide, widely used detector is a electron multiplier detector it is just like a photo multiplier detector in the uv visible spectroscopy the basic principle of electron multiplier or electron optical ion detectors they are based on the kinetic energy transform when those ions strike the metal plate it will generate a secondary electrons which secondary electrons are further amplified to give a electric current which in terms give you the percentage relative abundance of a ions so what we are doing here is the positive ions it will strike the dinodes so these are the different dinodes in the system of a electron multiplier detector when the positive ions strike this dinodes so the voltage is minus 5000 volt minus 3000 volt minus 2000 volt likewise so when it strikes it will generate a secondary electrons when it again strike this plate it will generate the secondary electron this plate again generate the secondary electron that's how it will generate large amount of secondary electrons that is amplified and it provides the signal or peak of the ions in mass spectrometer so generally in the electron multiplier detector there are series of 12 to 20 dinodes that gives the good secondary emission properties and it is a one of the most widely used detector beside electron multiplier detectors other detectors use are fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance or orbitrap mass spectrometer or electron optical ion detectors so these are other detectors used thank you for patiently listening my lecture on mass spectrometry that is a mass analyzer and detectors have a great time stay safe and healthy thank you